Uh, can you tell me about the Elton John? He was on your, your tour. <clears throat> yeah, he, he, he was a funny guy. Uh, he had a three-piece band, I thought that was, it takes a lot. Piano, bass, and drums, they were great. And uh, they opened up for us. I think I did a couple of things, and then, but everywhere we went, so they were there before we were. Was this his first tour? Only tour with, uh, with Domino's. Uh, but uh, the uh, every time we get there, uh, the hotel staff were pretty much indignant to us and we barely let us in the rooms. We couldn't figure out what was going on. Well, the second time around, we had it happen again. And we said, what's up here? With it turns out Elton, you know, he was, had his own problem, but he, he had a thing about tearing up all these hotel rooms. I had a lot of respect for them. Those are nice places, you know. I grew up in a shack, you know. Was he tearing them up? Or he was. There? Elton John was tearing up. <laughs> he was worse than Keith Moon, you know, tearing the rooms up. And, well, they just, you're a musician. You're just like the guy. That we, you're not coming in. The third time we, uh, for, we, were, we went to go, go to the hotel, get our hotel room, uh, I don't remember where it was, but they wouldn't give us a room. And... Uh, because Elton had been there and tore the, his rooms up. Well, that was it. And so uh, uh, Eric had to have some, Bruce call the office and tell him what's going on. And so Elton got canceled. You know, we but had, you did <laughs> we go, had to let him go. You used to go stand on the side of the stage and watch him play. Yeah, it was great. I used to, um, I would go stand out there and watch him, you know, the edge of the curtain and watch the set, you know, for them until it was, I had to go back and get ready to play. Right. It was just great, you know. Love Nigel Lawson, you know, D. Murray, and D. and I became friends years, years later in the '80s in Nashville, and uh, he he had, he couldn't get over Elton not you know asking him to play again. But people change, and you have to move on, you know. And uh, but uh, well, Elton, we had to let Elton go, and they, then they got somebody like Tofat or Foghat or. No hat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, Elton mentioned you in his book. Yeah. Very lovely. Yeah, yeah. It was very nice. So little did I know, and when I'm watching him, he was standing in the wings watching me when I play. And uh, he he reckoned and he reckoned right that I brought you know all the R and B and gospel and soul to the table, you know, and that's pretty much what he said in his in his uh, in his autobiography, um, flattered, you know.